Good morning and happy hump day. It's April 22nd, it's Wednesday, it's day 147 of school. You've made it halfway through the week. We're gonna talk about your day. You're always starting off with your calendar, weather, and tally chart. And then if you're interested in art, Miss Susie has sent along some videos uh, walking you through uh, the steps to create a drawing. And this week is creating a landscape picture. So the video is attached to this message. If you're interested in doing art, you have that today. Then you're going to move on to grammar and do one page in your grammar book wherever you left off from before. Everybody's probably on a different page and that's totally fine. You're working at your own pace. Then you're going to do one page from your spelling book. It says spelling book on here, but Miss Amanda lost her mind. My brain went away for a little bit and it's actually a spelling packet. So we do these packets in word work and there's two pages front and back, front and back stapled together. And in word work, we would usually start and do one page a day before you were able to choose which center you wanted to go to. So you're looking for the packet this week that has the compound words that go along with our spelling words. I went to school yesterday and and got all of the other packets because you're probably running out of them. And so they're sitting on the porch. So at some point before next week, someone should probably run to school from your house and pick up a paper clipped packet of spelling that will get us through for a few more weeks. And then there's also four uh, scholastic newses that I got in the mail that I'm passing along to you. So we'll be doing these in the next few weeks. So keep these safe also. So when you go to school, you want to get one packet of spelling and one bundle of scholastic news and they're right next to each other right on the front porch. Okay, then you have two things to do on Seesaw today. One thing, you're gonna read a little passage, a little article about this long, that's called The Talking Shampoo Bottle, and you're gonna answer a couple questions at the bottom. And then if you're on Seesaw and you wanna do it at the same time, there is a math activity that has to do with quarters, halves, and wholes, and it's gonna ask you to color certain things, certain colors. So for example, it might say, color any halves blue, color a quarter red, something like that. I can't remember the exact colors that I put in there. Um, and then you're going to go on a word hunt in your house. I think the easiest way to do this is to get a plain piece of paper and write the whole alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, all the way down here. And then you're going to go look around your house and try to find words that start with each letter. So once you find an A word written somewhere in your house, you can look in a book, you can look in a magazine, maybe there's a sign on your wall. Once you find an A letter or an L letter or a Z word, move on to another letter that you don't have, okay? So you're looking for one word per letter. Okay, and then on Seesaw, I'd like for you to record yourself telling me what you think you're going to do for your science project. Or maybe you go on to Seesaw and you say, Miss Amanda, I have no idea what I'm gonna do for my science project and then I can help you. Um, so the science projects are happening next week, but this week we're just preparing. So you've already watched videos. Yesterday you started thinking about it. Today you're gonna tell me what your science experiment's gonna be about and what you think might happen. So you can kind of give me your hypothesis. Tomorrow, you're gonna to start collecting materials. Um, and then next week, we'll take care of the rest. Okay, friends, that is it. Today, I am looking forward to reading with Rebecca, Teshin, Davis Cook, and Wyatt, 10 o'clock. Bring a book that you can read to us. The link for our meeting at 10 o'clock is right in the message. So after you watch my video, read the message, answer the question, and then you may get started with your happy hump day. All right, bye friends.